Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Today, we're at this ranch home, and this homeowner had a lot of problems with rooms being too cold in the winter and drafty, and we found that the attic was woefully under-insulated, that the house leaked a lot of air, but we also have a problem with the walls. The walls leak air, and the walls have fiberglass insulation, which doesn't stop airflow and provides relatively pitiful R value especially when there's air flowing through them. And this is common. There's tens of millions of homes in the United States that have the same exact problem. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna show you an amazing injectable foam insulation called air Creep that we're gonna install in this home today. Let's take a look. This house has cedar clapboard siding and we were here yesterday to prepare for the job. We drilled the holes yesterday and put these foam plugs in, but we take a, a course of siding off in this case and, and drilled holes. Now there's other methods if uh, in certain cases we may drill right through the siding and put wood plugs in afterwards and final siding, we take the siding off like we, we have here and drill holes right in the wall sheathing. But we can see that there is no uh, 15 pound felt, no tar paper on this wall. There's also no uh, Tyvek. It's just a bare uh, wall sheathing that the siding was put over. And we have uh, gaps you can see in the uh, wall sheathing as expected. And uh, it's 40 degrees out today or so and it's warming up for the day, uh, but it's still pretty cold out. And I can put my hand inside this wall and feel the warmth inside the wall. And that uh, warmth is supposed to be the heat flow from inside to out is supposed to be resisted by this fiberglass insulation. The problem is that when air is flowing through fiberglass, it negates the effect of the insulation because air is leaking right through it. You know, fluffy uh, fiberglass insulation is not going to stop airflow. This just filters the dirt out of the air but lets the air right through. What we're going to do is inject aircrete uh, into this wall as a consistency of like shaving cream and it's gonna flow in the entire wall cavity and infuse this uh, fiberglass with uh, our aircrete and make it uh, a airtight wall so air doesn't pass uh, through this wall and we're gonna add a lot of our value. You know at Dr. Energy Saver we use lots of different kinds of foam. In fact this morning one guy called Dr. Energy Saver the foam pharmacy. We use two-part foam, uh, open cell foam, closed cell foam, high density foam for roofing applications. We use one part foam. And in this case, Aircrete is a very different, very special kind of foam. What's different about it? Well, it's inorganic chemistry compared to uh, organic chemistry would be in two part foams where uh, it's petroleum based products. It gives off a lot of odors and heavy chemicals it's only during the uh, installation of it. And then of course it's, it's perfectly safe. But Aircrete is different. You can't smell it at all. Even if you stick your head in the cement barrel that we're mixing in, you can really not smell anything. And so it's very safe. In fact, I'm gonna do a demonstration for you. What is in Aircrete actually? Well, in the foam side, there's a, two parts that we use. In the foam side, we have uh, calcium chloride, which is basically road salt very useful, you know, uh, mineral used for a lot of different things. And there's a foaming agent and water. And in the cement side, we have magnesium oxide. Well, what's that? Well, it's a mineral, very common. And in fact, it's in uh, things like uh, antacids, uh, Maalox and Mylanta and so forth. Then we have talc. And talc is just a, a filler chemical used in a lot of different things. Uh, talcum powder baby powder uh, used to be in, um, foot powder, and um, very common uh, chemical, very safe. And we have water in both sides, and in uh, our cement side we have a proprietary uh, chemical that makes it all work, also very safe, uh, made by uh, Aircrete that uh, really makes this whole chemistry uh, work. The secret to manufacturing Aircrete on the job site is in this gun. The foaming agent goes through this gun and creates bubbles here, and each bubble is coated with a cementitious coating, and it comes out of the uh, whip hose where it's injected into the wall. Now, the aircrete will be injected into the wall until it comes out of the hole, and that's how we know that that cavity is completely full. So the aircrete goes into the wall, go ahead, Eric, and um, 
infuses and wraps around the fiberglass that's there, fills all the air leaks and cavities that's in the wall. And when it comes out of the hole, then we know that cavity is full. And we don't worry about the air creep uh, running over the siding or getting on the ground because it's easy to clean up with a hose. In fact, that is uh, the best way to do it. Uh, is to wash it down with a hose where it sort of dissolves and it's harmless to the environment. And uh, that technique uh, is really uh, unique and allows us to uh, get the job done. To demonstrate how safe aircrete really is, you can actually eat the stuff. Uh, we don't recommend it and it um, tastes very salty, but it is safe and uh, unlike any other uh, foam. And again, no odor and uh, very, very safe for your home. Aircrete is 100% mold proof because it's completely inorganic, so mold will not grow on it under any circumstances. And insects don't like to burrow in it. They don't like it at all because the abrasiveness of the, the crete part of the product uh, scratches their exoskeletons and they just not interested and they'll uh, go the other way. Uh, same with uh, mice, they do not like this product, uh, will not uh, burrow in it or nest in it at all. So it's a fantastic product to put inside your walls. The reason we put aircrete in the walls is for its insulation value and its air sealing value. Its insulation value is approximately R4 per inch, which is very, very good. And just as, if not more importantly, the air creep flows inside the wall and fills all the little uh, gaps and spaces inside the wall so air cannot flow through that wall cavity, whether it be from the inside to the outside, which typically happens at the upper levels of the house, or from the outside to the inside, which, hap which happens at the lower levels of the house. So air sealing is a big deal and air creep does it extremely well. We had these clear cylinders filled with fiberglass insulation and we injected aircrete into them and you can see how the aircrete just encapsulated uh, and infused that fiberglass and compressed it uh, to fill that cavity. You know, it's amazing how much uh, insulation goes into a wall cavity that's already insulated. Here I'm going to do a fire test and that's one of the uh, great things about aircrete is its fire classification and we're going to compare fiberglass insulation and uh, aircrete and here we have a fiberglass bat well it says right on the facing it says warning this facing will burn but let's take a look at uh, what it does to the other side we know that the paper side is going to burn so rather than making a big mess there we're going to burn this fiberglass and you can see that it just melts away. And if there were a fire in your house, the air can flow through the fiberglass and ultimately melt it away and get to the framing members and the combustible parts of your home. And so fiberglass is not very good in a fire as you can see. Uh, now let's uh, check the air creep and we'll see what happens there and you can see that well nothing happens so we're going to put a penny on top of the air creep and we will see if we can melt this penny right on top of the air creep without the air creep being affected And there it goes. And as you can see, the penny is melted into a blob and the air creep, there's no holes burned in it. It is unaffected. There's no smoke from it. And this is great news. If there was ever a fire in your house or an electrical short in the walls, uh, the fire will not spread through the air creep and the air creep will not yield to the flames. This is a big plus for your home. Aircrete is such great insulation that I can hold this sample in my hand and blow the flame right at my fingers and I don't feel a thing. And we're heating up this penny on the top of the aircrete and we've melted the penny just into a blob. And yet, I don't feel anything on my hand whatsoever. Amazing.
Now that the air crete is installed, the overall air leakage rate in this house will be lower, which means good news when it comes to making the house comfortable and less expensive to own because the fuel bills to heat this house will be lower and the electric bills to air condition it in the summer will also be lower. We also have a greater R value in the walls, uh, which means something now because there isn't air flowing through the walls. And that greater R value will prevent conductive heat loss, which is heat molecule by molecule flowing through the walls. So that's great news. If you have a house that you'd like to make warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer, or individual rooms that have problems, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.